Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making a beautiful set of resin coasters with real dried flowers. I have here some flowers that I ordered online, already dried and pressed, and I also have a little bit of baby's breath on the side, which I picked from a bouquet that I had at home. The first thing I'm doing is playing around a little bit with the flowers and the greenery to see which setup and placement I like the most. I'm using tweezers to pick up the flowers and move them into the molds. Because they're dried, they're very delicate and can break very easily. I didn't end up using any of the blue flowers and stuck more with a purple, pink, and white theme on these. But if you follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, I posted the coasters that I made with the blue flowers. Now that it's spring, my mom and I have been collecting a lot of the wild flowers that grow around in our city. So I'm looking forward to working more with flowers. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more flower themed projects. I make some final adjustments and then I decide that I'm happy with the placement and start to mix my part A and part B resin for about 3 minutes. I mix slowly and also switch the direction in which I'm mixing in to make sure that it's being mixed well. Once I can no longer see what looks like lines or striations in the resin, I let it sit for around 10 minutes to allow all of the air bubbles to rise to the top. Then I'm separating my resin into a smaller cup to be able to have better control for when I pour. I'm pouring the resin very slowly and carefully to make sure that I don't move the placement of the flowers. If it slightly moves, it's no big deal. We can just readjust that with a wooden stick. I went ahead and sped up this part a bit, but as you can see, I continue to carefully pour the resin over the flowers and in the area above. I'm going to be casting the flowers with one layer and later I'll be adding a heat resistant top coat. So it's two layers. I know that a lot of artists when working with flowers use multiple layers, so another option for me would have been to cast the flowers with two thin layers and then add a heat coat on top, but I wanted to see how these would turn out with less layers. Once I'm done pouring my resin, I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I'm careful that none of the petals are sticking up out of the resin so that I don't burn them. And I'm also moving my torch gun very quickly so that I don't burn my resin or my silicone molds. Now I'm using the wooden stick to make slight adjustments in the flowers and the leaves in the resin. I'm moving their placement around to where I think they were before I poured the resin. Even when you pour resin very carefully and slowly, whatever is in the molds will always slightly move. Mainly what I'm doing here though is with the wooden stick I'm pushing everything down into the resin because a lot of these flowers do tend to rise to the top. If I was doing more layers on these coasters, then I wouldn't spend so much time pushing the flowers down. Then I'm using the torch gun again because after I push the flowers and the leaves down, it releases air bubbles, so I'm using the torch gun to pop those. When working with pressed flowers, you definitely need at least two coats because they do float to the top, but we do always recommend adding a top coat no matter what design or technique you're working on just to give it that perfect glossy finish. I repeat this process several times because they do continue to float to the top after you've pushed them down. Then when I'm done, I cover them with a board so that no dust or fibers can fly into the resin while it's curing. And around 24 hours later, I come back to demold them.
I added a heat resistant top coat and a gold trim and I'll add the link to a video in the top right corner so that you guys can watch exactly how I do that. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.